Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another uh, installment of Stretch the Sketch. Today our sketch is from Julie Blank, is I believe what her name is. B-L-A-N-C is what it looks like. And I really like this sketch and I decided to shrink it. So today you're kind of getting a 2-4 because I'm doing two 6x12s and I'm doing them back to back. I'm using this Circle Party stamp set from Catherine Pooler to get those circles that are on the layout there. And then I'm going to pull in a bunch of Catherine Pooler inks in varying colors um, that I think work well with these photos. So I have one set of photos that has a lot of orange on it. And so I'm using Rouge, um, Mandarin Spice, Tutti Fruity, Peppermint Scrub, and Flame. And then I do, on the other side, have a lot of uh, photos that have a lot of green and blues. And so I will get to those later, but I'm going to switch up the colors to more of the cooler colors for that side of the layout. So just tuck this envelope right next to my layout just to pick up any of the ink that might be coming off of it. I was too lazy to kind of pull out my media mat. And uh, so that worked well. Um, I know a lot of people like to pull out their like their misty or their stamping platform, but because this is kind of a little bit of a mixed media layout, um, I'm not going to do that. I'm not too worried about getting a perfect impression in this particular case. Now I would pull it out if I was like making a card or something like that, but um, with a mixed media layout, I think sometimes the messy is okay. So I'm liking all of the different oranges together. It is pulling a lot of the orange and yellow from the photograph, and I think that's okay. It's, it's not a problem. Uh, my daughter has a yellow shirt with red pants. Um, she'd probably look at it and go, what the heck was I wearing, mom? And why did you let me wear it? Um, and then my son has an orange shirt on. And so it all works together um, with the colors I have chosen. And um, in large part, the color of everything in the photo behind us is that kind of orange, those warm oranges and reds, red tones. Um, we are, these are more photos from... Um, Skywalker Ranch. If you've not seen those, I have two other videos that have photos from that day. Um, and so I'm just working through the photos from that day. And so this is just an, another, another layout with photos from that day, basically. Um, this orangey room is the library at the uh, Skywalker Ranch. You can see a photo off to the right just below the sketch there um, that has a stained glass ceiling. That is the dome in the center of it. It's absolutely beautiful and stunning. So we definitely wanted to take some pictures of that. Um, and then this beautiful spiral, spiral staircase that we are standing on as well. So I am in large part, actually, I am completely working from my scrap bin on this. So um, I guess this counts for Baby Got Scraps as well. Uh, that is another series that is going on currently and um, that I haven't been able to play along with uh, just due to some time constraints. But um, I guess this would definitely qualify because uh, this is completely scraps with the exception of the white paper. Um, I did cut, hmm. Yeah, I think I did cut a piece in half for that. I didn't, that was not a scrap, but I am using the front and the back of it. So um, I'm, I'm not even using a separate white piece of paper for the other side. I'm just going to go right on the back and make it work. And I think, I think that's going to work well because I have three other photos that go with this single photo here. And then on the back side, I have the same thing. And then I've got a pocket page that has three horizontal photos and then one six by 12 insert. And so that's what that will go in. And you'll see that closer to the end um, when they're all laid out. Now I'm pulling out some stamp sets here from close to my heart. And um, I think I popped the name of this one up on the screen at some point here. Um, and I, I just am enjoying these um, mixed media looking stamp sets because it kind of does the work for you. I don't have to kind of get messy. I can control where everything's going. So if you like mixed media, but are not really sure about splattering or are uncomfortable with it, these are great stamp sets to get. Um, There's several companies that offer them. And in fact, uh, Close to My Heart offers uh, had, has offered several different sets over time. So um, you can get a multitude of different types of mixed media looks. And so I just t chose this one to work with today and I think it looks really good. I will try to link up all of the colors and, or at least make a list of all of the colors and the inks and 
the stamps down below for you so that you can get to those as easily as you can. Um, if you have been following this series, this is a series that I have done. Um, we are well into our third year. Um, our fourth year and four year anniversary will be coming up in May. We've done it every month on the third Sunday of the month for over three years now. And um, so here comes the blue side. I'm using stone blue, green tea, hot tub, and martini. And I think I pull in two other colors uh, a little bit later. Um, and so anyway, back to uh, about the series. There are a bunch of people playing along. We've had different people playing along throughout the um, the course of the series. And some people have been here with me from the beginning and some people are new. And so I am really happy to have uh, a lot of different friends joining me on this. All of their links can be found down below in my description box. So go and check them out. I cannot wait to see how they have stretched the sketch. The premise, if you do not know and have not seen this series so far, is that we take a 12 by 12 sketch and we turn it into any other size. You can go larger or you can go smaller. You just can't do a 12 by 12. So it's a good way to kind of learn how to adapt sketches for your needs. If that is something that is of interest to you, I highly recommend going and checking them out. I do have a playlist on my channel for all of my videos um, and you can, you can easily find those. And I don't always do six by twelves. I do a lot of uh, double page layouts and I have actually, I think at least one time taken it down all the way down to a card size. So um, lots of different inspiration and different ways to check things out. Um, or different ways to apply the sketch for your needs. So I'm liking the way that this came together. Um, I pulled in that triangular paper that is from Paige Evans Bungalow Lane. The yellow is from my mind's eye. Um, I do not know where this aqua piece is from. Again, these are all from my scrap bin, which is great. I'm really happy to be using them up. And then I'm gonna pull in that plaid piece. Um, and when they don't fit underneath to be the size that I want, I just cut them in half and use my scissors to uh, help them span the distance and um, stretch them to be the length that I want. Um, it's a great way to use your scraps. Um, I don't know if you noticed uh, also the other side, the photo was in a portrait um, position and in this on this side, it is in landscape. So I'm showing you two different ways to use your photos here um, on this six by 12 and how to apply this sketch using both. Now you get a different, a little bit different of a look because one is wider and one is taller or narrower and taller. And so uh, it's a little bit different of a look, but I, it still looks great and it's a lot of fun. Um, and I'm still using all of the same elements, um, the same circles, the same, mixed media stamps, just different colors of ink. And basically uh, the photo in this one is the main house at Skywalker Ranch. Uh, if you missed the other two videos and you're not sure what Skywalker Ranch is, it is basically where um, George Lucas does all of the sound. Well, I don't know that he does it personally, but it's where all of the sound technicians for any of the Lucas films work. Um, so all of the foley's and all of the sound editing is done at Skywalker Ranch. And it is, uh, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, hour to an hour and a half from my house. Um, and my husband had a friend that worked there at the time and was able to get us in. It's not a place that you can easily get into. They have pretty high tech security there and um, you have to have special permission. So um, it was kind of a big deal, especially at the time my daughter was a huge fan of Star Wars. Um, I mean, she still is a huge fan of Star Wars, but um, it was definitely a big deal to be able to get in there. I apologize for any sniffing you might hear. I am uh, trying to recover from a sinus infection, so bear with me on that. I did end up pulling in the two additional colors there. The darker one is called Skylight, and then the other one is called Hot Tub. And um, just two great additions to this particular layout because that paper from Paige Evans has all of those colors in it. So when you pull in a paper like that, that has so many different shades of greens and blues, um, it's really easy to kind of um, build on and then just keep adding different colors and different layers. And um, it's a lot of fun to play with. So I'm, I'm enjoying that. So again, I'm pulling out that same set of mixed media stamps and kind of going with the same look on the on this opposite side. 
um, just with the different colors. Now I have started thinking about what we're going to do for our fourth anniversary. In the past we have used um, all used different sketches that we've done before. Um, we have also done where we uh, each choose our own sketch. Um, if you have suggestions of things that you would really like to see, I would love to know that because uh, it's always fun to kind of know what you guys are interested in seeing. If you're just happy with what we've been doing, that's okay too, not a problem. Um, it's sometimes a little bit nice to just do something different for the month of May, which is when our anniversary is. Um, again, for, it'll be our fourth anniversary. So um, I don't know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll choose four sketches and let everybody pick from what they want to do. I don't know. Um, anyway, if you have suggestions or ideas of something you would like to see, I would love to hear that. So keep in mind that whatever we do, we will be using some sort of sketch and adapting it. So um, I did pull out my tab uh, dies and those are this particular set is from close to my heart. And I am using that same yellow that I am using uh, at the top of the page and the bottom of the page or the top of the page. And then um, as the back, uh, back layer of everything to create that tab. I really like that the way that that looks. Uh, the ephemera that I am pulling in for this is from Jen Hadfield and it's her newest collection. I do not remember the name of it. So I will try to remember to put that down below. Um, hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what the name of it is. I apologize for that. And then I use this pink circle to uh, create this navy blue spot down below. I end up not using the pen that is sitting there. Um, I didn't really like the way that it was looking. So I'm going to use the circular element just to keep pulling in that. And I don't actually put anything on top of it. But I think after the fact, what I will do is I will put a little um, strip of paper across there with the date on it. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, I don't actually do it on camera, but something will end up on there, whether it's the date or some other information about the main house. Um, sometimes I do have to go back and ask my husband for some details. Uh, he will remember those details much better than I will with regard to the names of the places and dates that we went. Um, and so that is in part why I, I scrapbook because I do not remember as well as um, I really wish I had remembered. So um, I will seek his information and or pick his brain on that and add a little detail there. Uh, I do, like I said, have two prior layouts with regard to this particular visit. And so there will be additional journaling. And a lot of times I wait until the end to journal all of the pages that go in a series for a particular location or event, because otherwise I find that I will repeat myself and um, it doesn't really read more like a story. It reads more like just here's some few facts and it might be the same few facts told a couple of times because I don't always scrapbook them in order. So I do not scrapbook chronologically, but I do file all of my pages chronologically, if that makes any sense. Um, I kind of just work with what is of interest to me at the time. That was uh, very fulfilling to me and I feel like it's um, more interesting and it keeps things fresh. And I kind of go back and forth in time. I scrapbook the current stuff with like Noah and my, um, who is my grandson, in case you don't know that. And then I also scrapbook some stuff from when my kids are young. Obviously, in these photos, they are very young. Um, probably, they are definitely preteen in these photos. And so, um, yeah, since I don't do it all back to back, uh, I sometimes forget what I write on the layout. So here is the completed layout, what it will look like in the page protector. And then um, I will show you the opposite side as well. I hope that you enjoyed this video and got some uh, inspiration and ideas on how to make uh, sketches work for you in your scrapbooking. Um, if you have questions or comments, you can definitely leave those down below. I will respond to you as quickly as I can. I thank you so much for your time and for choosing my channel today. Don't forget to check out everyone else who's playing along. And if you liked this video, I'd love a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, I thank you for subscribing as well. So um, I will see you guys again very soon with another video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.